Do you see this situation mitigating or resolving any time soon? No, it, it would just go on. It would just go on and on and on because the, obviously the government are not doing anything about it. This is Lewis Brightpool for Rebel News and today I'm in Dungeness outside of the RNLI Lifeboats base where weather conditions are looking very good. It's clear skies and the sea isn't as choppy so I'm hoping to catch a glimpse of a migrant crossing. Now, according to the BBC, roughly 22,000 that we know of have crossed this year so far. So today I'm hoping to catch a glimpse of the RNLI lifeboats in action. So the RNLI actually stands for Royal National Lifeboat Institution, where traditionally the RNLI was set up to help people who are either stranded out at sea or in a bit of distress around English waters. But unfortunately, the RNLI is wrapped up in its own controversy for getting involved in the current migrant crisis. The controversy surrounding the RNLI comes from the fact that donators are contributing because they want to help save lives. The donations are not meant for the RNLI to act as a taxi service for the migrants. All over the internet you'll find evidence of the RNLI's involvement with the migrant crossings. So I'm going to be speaking to Andy, who's a local resident here in Dungeness. Andy, it's great to meet you. Um, can I get your view on this current situation regarding the RNLI and the migrant crisis? Well, it's, it's getting impossible because there's so many coming in. And as I say, it's a taxi service rather than a, uh, save, they're here to save lives. But these people aren't putting out distresses. So people realise it's become a taxi service. You know, they've been chaperoned out of French waters by the French uh, patrol boats. They filmed it and doing it. And then they've been chaperoned into this country by ours. So it's not um, what they're saying it is. You know, they can turn them back, but they're not. How does that make you feel with this current situation? Well, it, it can't just can't go on. You know, um, you know, these are not women and children. They're mostly blokes. They're men. All of fighting age, yeah. Um, the other day there was um, about 35. Three were women, and that was it. The rest were men, yeah. So, and that's what you see most of the time. You do not see women and children. You see men. And in your own opinion, do you see this situation mitigating or resolving any time soon? No, it, it would just go on. It would just go on and on and on because the, obviously the government are not doing anything about it. Um, I got the feeling that uh, people in this country are involved in it because where there's money to be made, people uh, make money as we've seen with the governments and that lot. They don't care about the people, they care about their own selves. This year alone, 22,000 illegal migrants have crossed the channel on dinghies that we know of. Even though back in 2021, we sent the French £55 million in taxpayer money for their border patrol to curb the channel crossings. And since then, the crisis continues and the crossings have accelerated. So the natural question is what is driving these illegal crossings? Now, some are saying it's due to the incentives England are giving to these illegal immigrants and you're less likely to be deported from the country so with that being said, it looks like this situation isn't going to resolve itself any time soon. So this has been Lewis Brackpool reporting in Dungeness for Rebel News. If you enjoy my honest boots on the ground journalism, you can help support me over at ukreporters.co.uk, visit the website and keep up to date with all of my reports there. Thank you.